name is Julia. I'm from the company. I work for the company TeamViewer, and I'm from Germany. And I work in the second level department of TeamViewer. And now I want to show you our new product, which is TeamViewer Pilot. So basically, what you can do with TeamViewer Pilot, you have a normal TeamViewer version installed on your computer, and with that version, you can connect to our Pilot app on the smartphone, for example. So I just have a normal TeamViewer ID here, like I know from TeamViewer from normal connection. I type in the ID and I click on connect. So I can see the incoming connection here and it looks like a phone call because we also have voice over IP integrated within our TeamViewer pilot solution. And now as you can see, I can see on the screen what's happening on my camera on the, on the smartphone. And I give you one example now. So imagine that you are in a server room, you're standing in front of a server, there are a lot of cables and you don't know what to do. You want to ask your colleague for help, but your colleague is a few kilometers away. You don't want to drive there or he doesn't want to drive there. So he just connects to your phone and then you can go and say, what do I have to do with this cable here? Do I have to plug it in over here? So as you can see, the arrow and also the circle which I made are available, are visible on the phone and on the remote computer. So my partner here can see what I'm doing. So maybe he will say, no, you have to plug in the cable over here. You can see blue is the one which I did on my smartphone, orange is the one which my colleague did on the machine. So we're now connected to your smart glass and if you turn around for example and look on this computer which is on the table over there. I still I'm seeing what you are seeing. So if you walk around now I can still see what you are doing. Hi, my name is Sergey. I'm Bartuman. I am a director for IoT at TeamViewer. Here you can see our robot arm, which is Eva. I call it New Kim. So it's going to be very trendy in the industry. And you can see that it can simulate different movements using our agent, which is installed inside of this device. And basically, you can control it from remote. The most widespread use case is the usage of this in, in the labs, obviously, where the access of the humans are fairly restricted and then you will be able to kind of, you know, do it from remote. And I will show you one very specific movement. As you can, it can identify the, the, the device, and it can identify the shapes, and then it can move it from, let's say you need to change the space. This is some blood sample that it needs to be put in the, in the refrigerator. So this is basically the, the uh, kind of ro ro robotics of, of IoT, basically. What we are having now, we are, heavily inv investing in IoT, we are growing uh, pretty rapidly. We have two teams, one in Feiningen in Stuttgart, in Göppingen, and also in Yerevan quite a big presence. And we have around 50, 70 developers dedicated only to IoT, and the entire team viewer presence is around 200 people. So it's pretty significant here.